<laughs> Why are we gonna kill you? I'm gonna kill you, right? Start with the snare. Okay, there's the snare. Let's get the kick going. I can't, my brain is moving so fast right now. Alright. Okay. Say that's one, so we loop that around, so that's easy. One, two, 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 I did a song for this kid named Cody Simpson. Uh, he's an artist that was signed to Atlantic at the time. And the the um, the president, basically, or the, the president a &R of Atlantic Records at the time, his name was Mike Karen. he heard that song that I did, and he was working with the writer that I did the song with and said, hey, I want you to come in. And, and this he doesn't, he doesn't just ask people to, he's like, He's like, I mean, he's a, it's a, it was a big deal for me because I was like, my manager called me and said, hey, Mike Karen wants to meet with you. I said, really? Like, it was like, it was, because I was actually homeless at the time. Yeah. Like, I had nothing. I was just, and then he called me in and I signed my contract about a month later after, that was January 3rd, and then a couple months after that, then I signed it, yeah. Church boy. I was originally born in Los Angeles, uh, but um, moved to Atlanta. Parents divorced. Me and my father moved to Atlanta when I was about six, so I like the same from Atlanta. I started off R&B mostly. Um, I was working with I, my first records that I did were with this artist named Tank. Um, that was in 2011 when I first got signed, but then I ended up learning how to DJ and I ended up falling in love with EDM and pop and mm, that's all and the rest is down here. Like I, I just do everything. I just love, I love learning every aspect of every genre. Like I, there's nothing that doesn't, you know, interest me, you know, anything from country to, you know, just hardcore rap to any, I mean, it's just it's everything. I love everything. I love music. I, a lot of film uh, composers, I used to listen to, I'm classically trained in piano, and I used to listen to a lot of film scores and classical music, so I never really listened to... Well, when it comes to music, film scores and, and classical, that's really what I listen to on a daily basis, and I literally get a lot of inspiration from that, but when it comes to actual producers that I look up to, it's like a tie between either Ryan Leslie and Quincy Jones. I understand why, how they think. At least I feel like I do. I did a lot of work with Trey Songs, um, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, B.O.B., Chris Brown. Um, yeah, I I was about eight, I believe. Um, and classical training, it just it taught me discipline with the piano, which in turn taught me discipline with everything, um, and and musicianship while making beats because a lot of producers and they make great beats fantastic hit records you know oh, I, I need to it's so whack this beat is horrible this is not a good representation of what i'm capable of okay i've been put on the spot oh lord jesus all right i can't i can't uh i can't think <laughs> okay lord, just, just help me lord just help me get through it though we're good That was a piano. No, it's not. I love it. But I just love being able to re rely on that knowledge that I was trained with, you know? And it, it, it'll last longer versus making a beat just right now. And it's 
oh, it's hot right now, but in three months they don't play it anymore versus making a record. I did a record with Boys to Men last year. Their single is called Better Half. And there's guitar, I play violin on it, piano, trumpet, and I don't know, to me it's a to me it, it, it's music that lasts. That's why I, that's why I rely on it. I don't even know the question. Okay, so we move that. So that's my eight. Well, I got like two minutes left. <laughs> so one eight, we need to do triplets on that. So that's triplets. So that's, that's done like that. What album do I choose? Can I pick two? <laughs> uh, you can talk about them both, and then you have a pick. <laughs> okay. What album? I would take Kanye West's Dark Fantasy. I'm sorry. It's 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 it answers all my questions. It, it, you know, it's it's epic. Come on, I know a lot of people feel some way about Kanye, whatever. But you cannot deny that the man is a musical god. That's my musical influence. Kanye, Kanye West is my musical influence. When you asked me earlier, I'm sorry. It's kind of like with anything. Um, it takes hard work and dedication. And it's not what it all seems to be because people think that they can just you know, ask for a win. But you know, like any basketball team or any team, you have to anything, you have to if you want to win, you have to work for it. Anything. And it's going to be a long road. I mean I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna be a hit producer when I was 13. When I made my first beat, I was like, oh. Can't nobody touch this. This is it right here, you feel me? Like when now I listen to the stuff I did when I was 13, it was horrible. Like and I'm just now getting traction. It's just a long road. So the perception wise, like I would just, it's like with anything, just don't, for anybody that thinks anything is easy, you, you gotta understand life a little more because it's not easy. Anything you're doing, it's, it's gonna take work if you wanna be the best at it. Do what you wanna do and don't let people tell you that it's wrong. A lot of people used to tell me that my music was wrong or Oh, you use too many strings and you use too much music or your drums aren't hitting hard enough or whatever. But as long as you like it, somebody's gonna like it. Like, just because one person says it, there's 7.6 billion people on earth, somebody's gonna like it. And as long as you keep hustling, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what somebody says, as long as you're happy. Because I, I know I don't care. Like, if somebody like it, great. Let's work together, let's be friends. We can, let's make millions of dollars together, whatever. But if you don't like it, I'm like, I appreciate your opinion and I'm moving along, you know? like it's. Don't be sensitive, just do what you, makes you happy, you know?